We have the Apple Vision Pro headset on right now. Check these. Uh, I know they make a lot of fakes. This is the future, guys. Listen to the music while we have the Hype Miami website up, shopping for sneakers. Welcome back to Behind the Hype, guys. If you're new here, this is our show. We show you the behind the scenes of our sneaker business. We give away shoes or clothing every week. Make sure you wait to the end to see what you can win for free. All right, we back in this Got the employee rights behind me. Make sure you know your rights. Everyone back home, make sure you know your rights. This is a little update. It's probably one of the first updates since SneakerCon Philly. You guys saw we had an absolute banger SneakerCon. We got a little update for you guys. We bought a lot, as you saw in the SneakerCon video. We didn't really get a chance to show you some updates at the store. Oh, these are nice. This wasn't even from SneakerCon. It's a Balvin 3, but preschool. You don't see rare sneakers like this in small sizes, which is 10 and a half C. It's a very rare size. I will show you what we have picked up at SneakerCon. What we did pick up elsewhere. These were SneakerCon. Another rare sneaker in preschool sizes, which you don't see often. So, you know, we're bringing that kind of a rare inventory for you guys. These are beautiful right here. The brand new Reimagined 4s. This is probably the first release that has actually been profitable for, you know, in-store shoppers, people that loop in-store. Leather finish, guys. Before, as you guys know, it was suede around here. Where else was it suede? Like right here? Everywhere. Exactly. It was basically the whole shoe was suede. Now they did it in leather. I think it's a lot better, honestly. Now you're going to get a lot more wear out of them and they're not going to show as much each, I guess, right? Yeah. Whereas yeah, suede, we yeah. usually like, <laughs> you'll see a lot of creases. So make sure you get crease protectors. We have those here. Damn, that was Good. That was good, yeah. yeah. Was good. Alex said everything he had to say. I actually had a different opinion on these, bro. As he mentioned, these are all leather, but I'm still a really big fan of the 2019 pair. I still have really like mixed feelings about the leather, but he does have a point. You can probably wear these a lot more longer and they won't fade like a suede pair would. Definitely one of the hotter drops that has released in stores. Over the last year, a lot of different stuff has gone down, which doesn't allow people who stand in line and resell shoes to make a profit. I'm personally not really too into that business model in terms of, you know, looping in store as they call it, but a lot of people do make a lot of money off of that. And this is the first release for people were actually able to. This is a classic right here. We never, he's very excited about these. Look at that smile. The OG Travis Mocha ones. I mean, I've seen these so many times, but I mean, they're a classic. There's so many fakes of these. You have to be very careful. This is a size 13. We got one pair in. I don't think we ever have them in the store. I actually barely get to see these. I see a lot of fakes out there. I've had a couple people try to sell us fakes, but we got it locked down pretty much. You know, being surrounded by so many sneakers, you can more or less have an idea of what's real and what's fake. You guys all know I'm a huge Travis fan. This is without a doubt one of my next cops. I really like these a lot. But uh, we also have another size 13 Travis that we haven't had in the store in a long time. Like those right here. I actually have these, but these are cooked. My pair is cooked. It's real. <laughs> these are fire. I think these also came out 2018. Definitely the Astro World vibes. Yeah. Bright I mean. blue, Cactus Jack here. Cool hang tag. I see bottom. These are the Travis Scott Jordan 4 Cactus Jacks. It's the only pair of Travis 4s that are released to the public. A few different friends and family versions of these. Two, I think. Two, yeah. Brown and purple. Exactly. Which go for like 30 grand. This is definitely, uh, I guess, affordable alternative if you, if you want to call it that. They're going for around a thousand, if not more. But yeah, it's a classic. I mean, that shoe, I remember I got one pair for retail when they first dropped. That was definitely, was a good profit on those those are amazing a classic when it comes to recent shoe culture size 13 man another size 13 heater grinches you do not see these in big sizes at least for good prices these are over a thousand in big sizes so we picked up a pair at sneaker con the hoopers want the grinches the hoopers want the nice kobe's so these are definitely up in price most hoopers above a size 12 13 you know how it goes these are going to sell for over a thousand i think that one's also a 13 you want to mention that one what is that oh yeah hell yo if you're a size 13 got some heat bro we got some heat for you bro for, for yeah you don't see a lot of size 13 heat in the store Occasionally we do, obviously, but yeah, these are the probably the next best thing when it comes to the Grinches. I think these are better, in my opinion, like looks wise, much cleaner. Definitely a nice poop shoe. The Mambasitas with the GG on the back. You guys seen these before on our channel. We've sold them very well in store. And now we got a size 13 for our big boy hoopers. So <laughs> what else we got? Uh, oh, these are a fire one. We got these in sneaker con as well. These are a Grateful Dead SB Dunk. Got the fluffy bear on the outside. That Grateful Dead kind of that Grateful Dead bear. Classics. I love these a lot. And a size six. Not a shoe you see in smaller sizes, mostly made in bigger men's sizes. But I think a girl would definitely rock these, especially if they know what the shoe is um, if you don't know what the shoe is it's probably kind of crazy to you but this is definitely one of those shoes that sell like upwards of a thousand dollars i think more not exactly sure there's a friends and family pair as well someone tried to sell me those price wasn't that good the orange pair i'll pop up a picture they are very rare thousand they go for like four or five thousand so a bunch of other classics stuff lost and founds i'm not even gonna show you guys i like this one i'm gonna point it out we do get these a lot. It's a classic, like reverse mocha, Jordan 1 low, but you can see they're small. Very hard to find. We're getting a lot of uh, preschool heat. This is awesome. So a shoe like this in men's sizes goes m way more than, I think we have them at like 1800 at this point. We had them at like 1500, but keep going up in price. But you know, if you're a small size, which I have a friend that is actually is a small size, she's a size two. So she got these for like literally 300 bucks compared to, you know, paying those men's sizes upwards of $1,500. If you're a small size, especially the girls, they get blessed for some stuff like this. The second pair of Louis Air Forces sold in the past, I don't know, 
two weeks price tag, 6K. We have the white one still. And we just sold, we sold the gold ones two weeks ago, I believe. We're yet to receive payment on those. So we're waiting for payment to clear on those. So that would be two pairs sold in like two weeks. Sold those for a lot cheaper, like 4,000, I want to say. They're a smaller size, so they go for less. The white ones are more. I just got an offer for 6,500 on those. I wanted like seven at the least. So I'm going to try to get seven. Those kinds of items, we don't really sell like from customers that walk inside the store, but other stores hit us up. They need them for a customer or like I just saw the market went up on those. So I took a, you know, a bid. The benefit to having high-end stuff, but you do have to buy it right. That's what I always say. You know, for stuff like this, like regular, you know, two, three hundred dollars, me paying 120 versus 140 might not always make the biggest difference, especially if it's going to continue to sell. But stuff like this, you have to pay well, you have to pay low because, you know, you're going to hold it for a while. It's a lot of upfront investment. Yeah, but it pays off sometimes. So I love the OG Jordan 4 Travis Scott pickup. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments. We just finished one unboxing, time to do another. We're back with another unboxing. As you can see behind me, we got a bunch of boxes, most of them from the warehouse. And the one on top I'm very excited for because it's a special shoe for a special client that I have not seen yet in a long, long time. So I'm gonna just get right into it as we always do. Yeah, you know what this is? Easy boots? Some, something like that, yeah. Well, the 750s. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because right, no, right, there's right. boots and there's 750s, so yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah, okay, okay. So these yeah, guys yeah. right here exactly. are the, cool. dude, cool. those are some OGs, bro. The 750s, I haven't seen these in like wow. years, bro. Yeah. They restocked these when they did all the restocks for the Yeezys. They restocked these like maybe like 20 pairs, I think. So the market wasn't really affected. They still go for over a thousand, like 1500, I think. That's crazy. But yeah, these are like the OG yeah, 750 like Yeezys. Mm -hmm. These are such a classic. Okay. The VIP client spends a lot with us, was like, yo, I need these source. And I literally got them in under a day somehow. I don't know how the mm -hmm. f I found these. Super random, but definitely a crazy shoe nonetheless. Yeah. Just one pair that I sourced. If you guys ever need anything sourced like that, that's special, we can make it happen for you. I have like I said, I haven't seen this shoe in years. In the middle school era. Yeah, find them brand new right now is impossible. They released, I think, in 2015, I want to say, originally. So that's... that's Nine yeah. years ago? Yeah, yeah, that's long, bro. Nine years ago. longer than that. Dude. <laughs> it feels hell 2015 long. was nine years ago. Yeah, yeah, Let that sink in. Here we go. This is the rest of this, I believe, is from the warehouse. See that Denim Tears peeking? Finally got some gray ones in. Some gray ones. So so what happened was Denim Tears released these. They released a bunch of them. They went crazy. And we got so many of them, we sold them all. And then the price skyrocketed. During the holidays, everyone wanted it. There wasn't a lot available. But yet again, Denim Tears restocked it. I feel like they're low-key killing the brand, I'm not going to lie, yeah, by releasing yeah. so much. Nonetheless, this will sell in store. People still ask for it, especially the gray. And I believe we got some black in here as well. Full sets, black and gray in store now. People go crazy for these. These are the OG colorways, so they like them the most in my opinion. Some more Hellstar, you already know. <laughs> always always a Hellstar Capsule 10. This is the classic tee. We have so much of it already, but this is, I think, just a, a few scraps. So that's the Denim Tears. That whole box is filled with Denim Tears. Alrighty, what do we got next? That baby blue, you already know. Love you forever mm -hmm. on the box. Oh, I almost dropped it. We have a bunch of these, but I think this is just a random pair I got. Yeah. Real restock. So these are the, they're buttery as hell. Yeah. Way better than the actual Air Forces. 50 bucks more, mm -hmm. but the quality is 10 times better. All the little details, you guys probably already seen these a million times, but mm -hmm. just to recap, the hearts on the bottom instead of stars, different size holes on the front, the metallic, the you got the leather finish on the, the leather inside. finish on That's the inside, crazy. facts, mm -hmm. and then the love you forever on the midsole, and the baby blue, knock the insole. I love that, I love the baby blue. Such a clean colorway with the white especially. So this is a size nine, but we got pretty much every size I think in these. What else we got? Like More Air Forces, what are these? Air Forces. And GR ass Air Forces. That's not so. bad at all though. They're cool. That Georgetown colorway. That Nike logo is like OG. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's like the. It's the hardest like little logo. Yeah. For Nike. Supremes. We sold out of all the smaller sizes. So, but dude, the demand on these is still super high. But I believe these are a little different than the regular Air Force because I got that little Nike sign. Yeah, they have a regular cool. pair of Air Forces to compare it to. But I mean, even on these, you could see this is a Paisley Air Force, yeah. but it's, a, it's kind of the same. You don't have that Nike logo on there. Yeah, I think the materials are a little bit nicer as well. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Sure. It looks way better in my opinion than yeah. regular Air Force. If you're a Supreme fan, or really just a classic Air Force fan, you need mm -hmm. these. It's a must-have classic in your rotation. I think the rest of this box is just all Supremes, so that's definitely a much-needed restock. And then we got one more box. I think it's just more denim tiers, but I'm gonna check right now. Like I said, a ton of denim tiers in. Got every color now, I believe. Actually, no, we sold out of the other ones, navy, mm -hmm. red, but we're getting those as well, because they restock that as well. We got more denim tears. Yeah, maybe. These are the hoodies, I believe, yeah. 
the other ones with the pants. Yeah, this is pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Definitely some special ones. The 750s was the highlight of the unboxing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Probably the 750s, to be, to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't anything Because I knew once I seen the shape of that deck, because I forgot how the box looked for a moment. Yeah. But then I was like, damn, it's kind of square. Yeah, like, yeah, it's weird. Box. It's square like yeah. that. Honorable mention, we bought these in store yesterday. This is a 2012 in military blue. I forgot the name of them. They look so crisp. Like, they came out, like, yesterday, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. This shoe is 12 years old, and it mm -hmm. looks like this. It looks amazing. You're right. It's that very crispy. Is. The QC and the attention to detail by Nike. It is wild. Not, like, not one flaw. At all. If you guys want to buy or sell sneakers, hit the DM. You already know we're buying shoes all the time. Peace. What's up, guys? Starting us with the video. We're going to be picking the giveaway winner for our brand new unreleased merch, as you can see right here. This video, we only had 51 comments. Guys, I'm tired of saying this. It's really that easy to join. Not a lot of people, and you guys have two weeks now to enter. Can't be sleeping. So let's go ahead and pick. And we got Benjamin Blakemore. Dope video, sup Rome, and how great is Nico? Top friend of Ireland. Thank you for the comment, but I don't know what your IG is. We can't reach out to you guys. Please follow the instructions, guys. Drez, by the way, 1777. F with the video, size 10, at 1tk.juan. Let's see if he's following. Follow, bro, 1tk. Oh, he does. Percent, right? Yeah. You have 24 hours to respond. We'll be reaching out to you, and yeah, congrats. All right, guys, shout out to Juan. He responded within under five minutes. Hey, Juan, how are you? Congrats, bro. How do you hear about hype, bro? That's fire. You're really into sneakers and stuff? Yeah. Fire, bro. I just want to show you quickly up close what we got. You want these right here. You also got this chrome one, and this one's also really sick. Thank you for showing the support, and I'll be DMing you more, getting your info, and that's it. Appreciate you, bro. All right, thank you. For sure, take care. Like I said, it's really that easy. Give him a quick call. He's winning free stuff. We used to do weekly videos, but now that we're posting every two weeks, you guys have a lot more time to enter. Now back to the video. I'm sure you guys have seen the Apple Vision Pro's a $3,600 VR headset. You already know we had to get a pair for ourselves and try it out. I'm to go shopping. Can you scan the QR codes in the store? That's, that's what I want to know. All right, I'm on the website. Hold on. <laughs> like you can probably tap oh, wait, it, no? Move, move, no. No, nothing. That would be uh, sick, dude. All right, here, I'll show you how to use it. All right, so I, this whole wall right now is a screen. <laughs> I thought it was a super cool and innovative piece of technology. Definitely ahead of its time and a little overpriced, but we had to check it out. There. Damn, it looks like. Oh, what the? What? Okay. Oh, right. shit. Dude, right. this is sick. Holy shit. We have the Apple Vision Pro headset on right now. This is brand new, $3,500. I think it's a waste of money, but we're going to try to help some customers out with the Vision Pros. Welcome, man. How you doing? Do you need help with anything? Are you looking for anything specific? Oh yeah, go ahead, do your thing. If you need anything, let me know. Where'd the website go? Oh, I lost it. Yo, pull up Google Translate. <laughs> Yo, that'd be crazy. And then it'll start from here. Dude. We're about, to, we're about to help customers with the Vision Pros. Be like, yo, what are you looking for? And then I wanna see how it looks though. Yeah, yeah, try it out. You can do it next. <laughs> <laughs> hey Siri, open up incognito window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is cool though. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're recording now. You guys can see what's going on. I got my music out, hold on. I feel like I'm not even like in real life right now. Like people are looking at me, but like I don't even care because I like, I'm in my own world. This is crazy. All right, <laughs> we gone. So I can just kind of bring this on along with me. If I want to listen to 21 Savage while I'm moving, it's pretty badass. If I want to just kind of like put it in the street, I can. It stays, grab it, boom, back in. How do I pull up the website? Let's see. All right, dude, this is so confusing. All right. All right, I got the website up. Oh, there's no internet. I guess I'll just put up the music. Hold on. How's it going, sir? What's up, baby? Dude, this is sick. Hold on. Get the music going. Hold on. We're in the future. This is it. This is the future, guys. Listen to the music while we have the Hype Miami website up, shopping for sneakers. Check these. Uh, I know they make a lot of fakes. I still have no idea how to just like those. These might be fake. Yeah, because I tried selling them on StockX and StockX said they're not real, so I wanted you to digest them. Where'd you get these? So yeah, these are fake. I got it on Poshmark and the guy said it had the StockX tag on it. Yeah, I think these are fake. Yeah, I was going to say these are fake paint on uh, right here. What, the glossiness of it? Yeah, you could tell like it got brushed on. It wasn't sprayed on. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say the shape of this four alone. Yeah. And then the tag, it's fake stock, it's like X tag too. It's a different color. So you know the way the whole store works, everything is digital, everything is futuristic here. Every product has a QR code. If you scan it, you see the prices and the sizes we have. Thank you. If you need any help, just let me know. I got you. We're gonna do a little behind the scenes today of a deal that I did. Nothing crazy, just like 50 pairs of Air Forces. It was a local guy, hit me up, had a price. 
I gave him a counter offer. We closed the deal real quick. We'll give you a little behind the scenes of what it's like buying for the store. A lot of this stuff I can't show on camera because it's just me sitting on my phone or on my desk. I'm the one that's responsible for like 90% of the buying in the store. Every single day I have to restock based on whatever sells. You guys know we sell Air Forces, 99 bucks. Our best selling item probably in the store in terms of volume. And yeah, so just quick restock, 50 pairs. We're gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes. Pick them up, get them paid cash out. So like I said, 50 pairs, about probably like right around $4,000. A lot of people always ask us where we get our inventory for the store. It's a variety of places, to be honest. You guys see us buy at sneaker events all the time, but what you don't really see a lot of the times is contacting suppliers that we have all over the country, if not the world, that ship directly here, ship to our warehouse. Sometimes we'll get a big shipment and piece it out you know, to other stores and then our store. So sometimes we get it directly from the retailers. It really depends on what the item is, sometimes directly from the brands. Yo, he just texted me. He's not trying to be on camera, so we'll, uh, we'll get back to you when we have them all loaded up. All right. You good? All right, so like I said, a little over $4,000 for all 60 pairs. Cash right here. Didn't want to be on camera, gonna hand it to him. Get all this process and we'll show you. We're actually gonna show you on the Vision Pros that we're gonna process. Like every shipment we gotta receive and QC these shoes, why not do it on the Vision Pro? Whoa, Matt, whoa, whoa. I'll, I'll give you the honors. All right, let's do this. You want, need my help or? Yeah, actually, just name them. All right, so just name them one by one. Uh, how many size eights? There's no eights, there's eight and a halfs. No eights? No, there was no eight, eights on the list originally. All right, okay. we got four eight and a halfs. Four? Yeah. All right, and then we got six nines. Six nines. All right. Nine and a halfs? Mm-hmm. Six, nine and a halfs. Six? Yeah. Okay. okay, tens? Eight size tens. Okay, ten and a half? Eleven, ten and a half. Eleven, ten and a half. Size elevens? Seven elevens. Seven elevens. Seven elevens. Seven elevens. Oh, I'm sorry. Yay. Eight eleven. Yes, sir. All right. Eleven and a halfs? Four eleven and a half. Eight. Okay. Twelves. Three twelves. Three. Okay. Five thirteens. Five thirteens. And fourteen. Two fourteens. Two. So how many total do we have? Should be fifty-seven. Yes, sir. Fifty-seven. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yay, we did it. We did it. We done. Uh, Receiving fifty pairs of Air Forces on a Shopify on a Vision Pro with his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well. We have to do the cost now, but we're not gonna do that on the Vision Pro. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bitch. And my head is like gonna explode. I was gonna say, bro. Oh my god. How do you god. feel? That's the thing. You you had them on for like probably an hour at this point. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Boom. Third unboxing of the video. Let us know one, two, or three. Which one was your favorite? Straight yeah. okay, to the unboxing. He's on unboxing mode. What do we got here? Bunch of fire pairs. I don't think we have a lot of these in kit sizes, right? No. We have two, and they were smaller sizes, which don't really sell that well. And we also had them for like $400, which is probably why they didn't sell. UNC's. Ah, this pair is so beautiful, bro. It's literally just the two-tone dunks that are selling like extremely high. These are a good example of it. The Michigan States, not the Michigans. We'll send us the wrong color. We'll send us the Michigans, which are right here. When we were asking for the Michigan States. They're a little crazy. different. Yeah, a little, <laughs> just a little bit. But yeah, I think this is easily like one of the best dunks of all time. These used to go for like 400 and men's size is up to like 500. Now they're like half the price. We're selling them, I think, for like 200. Yeah, it's kind of crazy what happens when pairs restock. They restocked overseas. People got them in the US now, of course. And the UNC dunk restock. I think those are gonna go crazy. You probably have to restock those like literally soon as because they're gonna sell out, I think. Yeah. People always ask for those, right? Yeah. And then when they hear they're 400, they're like, oh, I'm Jordan good. four boxes, more kid size dunks. Militaries. We needed these. Yeah. You're looking for the blue cage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so guys, check this out. So Will actually called me before he said, these are beyond up. that's the cage. I, these are going back. But anyways, if you guys see right here on the cage on here, you see it's a little blue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little bit of a blue tint. I would say probably like 80 to 90% of the pairs produced, GS pairs specifically, have this blue cage, right? It's kind of hard to avoid. I told him if it's not that bad, you could send them. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty bad, so I probably have to send them back, especially because I have scuffs on them and stuff. But it's so hard to find GS pairs without this on them. It's not just military, I think it's other GS fours as well. Yeah. The QC is just awful, which is crazy because the shoe goes for like 500 bucks. We're gonna check them out, make sure they're all they're good to sell. But like I said, it's pretty hard to find without the blue cage. So we're just gonna try to find pairs with the least amount of, yeah. <laughs> no knife today, just scissors. I know, I'm trying to find a knife. But... Yeah, I got you, I'll bring one. Scissors will do. Ooh, silver cloud. Yeah, this is a new new colorway, right? It looks like smoke a little bit. Oh, fuck. I thought this was the, the one no, we had. No, I was gonna say, I noticed the logo. Um, I thought this was the one we had. Nah, this is the oversized one. It's probably I, going back too. I think it's cool, yeah. I only got like one size, because I thought I was restocking the one You guys see had. this? You see how big it is on me? Guess the size, this is a small. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Imagine like a large. I have a XL. large. I'll show you a large. Bro, look at this large, bro. I actually pointed out the other day because we try to keep, for the most part, everything looking clean and the same. And I'm like, why is this out? Like, this is huge. This is a large. I wear a large in t-shirts. Dude, we've had a lot of customers ask for these and I'm surprised we didn't get them until now. 
but I'm glad we do have them. These are the 90s, 60s. Yeah, we had them a while ago. Really? And they didn't sell that well. We sold them. I know we had, um, I checked on the inventory. Joe Fresh Goods. Joe Fresh Goods. Yeah, we had I some. I it was called. They, they, they took a while to sell, but they sold. This is cool. This is like the, the sea salt. Yeah, they're simple. Sea salt. This is a fire. Dude. I feel like they'll sell better just because it'll be yes. it'll be cheaper than the Joe Fresh. Dude, we've had a lot of people come for these styles. I think this is pretty cool though. I thought they looked the same to me. This is the rain cloud. Nah, oh, no, the gray is fire. The gray is cool. I like the little touch of red here too. Yeah, no, that's definitely like a staple people are gonna buy. Yeah, unique, unique style for sure. Unique model. I don't even know what we price them at. I feel like two hundred will. Two hundred is fine. Two hundred, two twenty. Anything that's like in the two hundred dollar range is I would could say considered on the lower end for our store. I would say on average like three hundred is our average probably. That's it. Quick unboxing. No light. Let us know unboxing style. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more we get packages pretty much every day literally you know, every other day every other day so you know if you guys want to see us unbox it let us know and we're gonna go hit the streets with the apple vision pros and see what people have to say all right let's see what people think about the vision pros i don't even know what to expect i'm just gonna go on the street and interact with people how's it going sir i have a question do you think do you think this is the future of technology right here i'm, I'm listening to 21 savage right now while watching a youtube video and talking to you Listening to 21 Savage. I got, I'm literally listening to 21 Savage right here, and I have a, if I want to have a Drake music video pulled up here, what do you think about this? I think it looks fucking You think this is the future of technology? I mean, yeah. It's kind of scary. I have a headache right now. I've had this on for two hours. And we're gonna walk around and talk to some people, but appreciate your time. Oh my God. Sir, stop right there. Excuse me, what's your name, sir? Excuse me, do you have Instagram by chance? I do. You do? I wanna, I wanna test this out. Is there any way I can get your Instagram? Sure. All right, what's your Instagram? Uh, Lauren. Lauren? Okay. I'm not trying to touch yeah. you. <laughs> like, uh, the six distance. Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, okay. It's private though. Oh my God, you're private. How's it going? I have a question for you. We're just getting people's opinions about this whole Apple Vision Pro. What do you think? I think I am going to try. I booked an appointment at the store in, uh, Shopping mall, like in a couple of days. Go check it out. Try it out, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Excuse me. What do you think about the Apple Vision Pros? Um, we're live right now with 10,000 people. Uh, no, it's a, a good choice. Not a good choice? No, no. I should take these off, you think? Nah, maybe. Maybe? Maybe, maybe. Bad for the health? Para salud? Malo? In the future, it's a problem. All the people wear these glasses is... It's, it's, a, it's a problem. Okay. In my opinion. Thank you. Appreciate your time. I got the Hellstar Brainwash tea, and it's... What year is it on the back? Yeah, 3,005. So this is what the world looks like at 3,005. Does it check out? <laughs> I'd say it's pretty real. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Google Maps going, and we can go to 7-Eleven on the Google Maps. All right, let's go. I got the directions up. We're rolling. This would be so helpful if I was just on the go, just trying to find something, because I'm always holding my phone when I'm walking, if I need directions, you know. Right, I'm gonna put my music video right here for now. Yeah, Leave it over there. Let me get a water. I've never tasted this one. Grab that shit. Yeah, let me. Get... Hold on, let me leave it right here. All right. How's it going, sir? Yeah, Thank you, boss. It. Have a good one. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. I've been walking around for like an hour, and I'm not gonna lie. It's f***ing trippy. When you take them off, it feels like you came from a different world into the real world. And like, it's scary, man. When they perfect this shit, it's gonna literally look like real life on the goggles. Like, these are really heavy and bulky, but I feel like in a few years, there's gonna be just something way more simple. But I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. It's been cool to play around with, have some fun in. We live in a video game, I swear. We live, we live in a video game. Definitely a super cool concept. A lot to improve on, and hopefully it'll be cheaper. I'm not gonna lie. I return these right away but made for a cool video appreciate you guys tuning in thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of behind the hype we're giving away a fitted denim tears hat in the size of your choice guys make sure you follow all the instructions below and we'll see you guys next week